What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for Vision Con pickups? Hey guys, I'm Jazz of Nerdy Blazing Cosplays, and you're watching Do You Nerd? Yes, nerdlings, we recently had our local pop culture event convention, Vision Con. This thing has been around for three decades, and they're a non for profit, they're a charity event. Mm -hmm. So they're so, so cool. There's going to be links in the description below to check them out and read up all about them. And I hope that you guys will check out some of the other videos because there were Q&As, there was a cosplay contest, a fantastic floor tour video showing off exactly what you can expect whenever you visit VisionCon. We even talked to some of the artists and creators and authors and just all the people there because we have a great time whenever we go. Now this was their first time back after a couple of years off because yep. of pandemic issues and everything. Um, I will say I was kind of surprised there were some empty tables, but I think there's a lot of tepidation about coming back to yeah. things. Uh, you know, some of these businesses and, and creators, you know, the timing may not have lined up the way that it initially had. Uh, but regardless, it was still a pretty good time. There were uh, a good number of people there, yeah, actually. Yeah, some yeah. Fun cosplays yep. and everything. So, and we always have a good time no matter where we are or what we do. Oh, oh so we too make true. the best of everything. Too true. So. Well, again, please check out some of those other videos showing off VisionCon right now. We're going to talk about some of the cool stuff that we picked up and show you that it's not always what you would expect from yeah. a convention, a nerdy convention, especially you. You always, always find, find weird, stuff. weird stuff. For example, an octopus in a teacup. Yeah, why not? I love octopus, octopi. I don't know what the plural is of it. There's just something that is really cute about their little faces, <laughs> um, the little suction cups on their tentacles. I just, that fascinates me. It's like, I want to feel like what that feels like or something, you know? <clears throat> um, um. I'm trying to, to focus. This was just so cute. This lady made a bunch of tentacles and she said it actually started when her mom went into the hospital, she got really, really sick and it was during COVID and they weren't allowed to bring flowers in. So she actually just started making octopus, but she said, you know, that I could bring in. So I would just make a different octopus and bring it in and just decorate her room while she was there. And I had actually already had a teacup with an octopus in it that I had gotten from a previous convention. So it was like, well, look, now I have a mate. And so I just loved this one because it's just coming out of the teacup. And then my favorite part is just the fact that one tentacle is literally going through the handle. Oh, yeah. So I just thought that was great. And there's just something about his little expression in there. He's just kind of almost angry, like, why don't I fit in this teacup? But I also love orange and blue together. And so that dark blue with that bright orange just really pops. And so it was just really cool. She had one other one that I really was interested in, but it was a little big and and everything so i really liked the purple one that was on the sand but this one this one just spoke to me because it just it just goes well again very cute and so oddball you know this isn't exactly the first thing that would come to mind yeah. with a pop culture nerdy right. convention but you know hey yeah. something for everybody <laughs> okay yeah well, one thing that you always pick up at any convention are plushies. Of course, it wouldn't be a convention without a plushie. Well, you got some cute little I ones did. right here. I did. These are handmade, adorable little plushies. We got a little Korok here, and then just this cute little kitty that's my favorite color, and, and that pink bow just really, like, stands out. And it almost makes me think of, like, like it's kind of like Sailor Moon's cat, because it's got that little thing up here. Uh, true. Well, that wasn't even the only plushie kitty that no, you got. No, that wasn't. From another booth, this is also a handmade little kitty, and it's just the cutest little cat. And I was watching them make them there. So they were sewing them up and then filling them full of beans. And they're just, you know, you can just, like, sit on your shoulder or something. They're just, just an adorable little space cat. <laughs> to ride in a space boat. In a space boat. And you love penguins. I love penguins and I love dragons. And this was a penguin wearing a dragon suit. I mean, come on. You can't get much cuter than that. It's just adorable. You know, and, and it's just, you know, again, it's another keychain if you want to carry it around. And it's 
super soft. And he, yeah, it's and just it's very cute. It's just adorable. Okay. When I bought him, the vendor said they they had penguins dressed up like dragons and ducks and frogs. And they said they were they found these little penguins somewhere and they tried to convince them that they were penguins, but they weren't having it. They kept telling the vendor, nope, I'm a dragon or I'm a duck or I'm a frog. So I was like, well, with that kind of personality, <laughs> I have to have it. That is ridiculously <laughs> cute. We love to collect art prints and now space can sometimes be a minimum inside the game room, but we keep a portfolio book as kind of a coffee table yep. book to put those bigger prints in and even sometimes some smaller prints. Now, these were a lot of fun. Uh, first of all, we had to go with a sticker. Yep. And I, just, I liked this sticker. She just seemed very sassy. I don't know why, just her stance and, you know, she's cute. And I love anything that has not normal hair color. And it's Samus from the NES, Metroid original. <laughs> and if you beat the game fast enough, she didn't wear a whole lot underneath that power armor. Was it the only video game character we got though? Because we also got a lovely Shantae with a bit of a tiger print bikini outfit oh, going yeah. on here. And we got a great fairy that's a little less scary than yeah, how the she great normally scary. is. The great fairy scares me sometimes. She just pops out and is like, like boisterous. <laughs> And Tyrus Flair, the heroine of Golden Axe. Not a lot of art is done of Golden Axe. So that is true. This was cool. This is for my childhood. This is my, one of mine and dad's favorite games to play together. We played Golden Axe together. so. Which I love that you guys used to do that. <laughs> I also got me a manga. A Super Mario manga mania. So there were, manga. there were a ton of Mario manga manga overseas and this is just a collection of some of the stories but it's very very cool uh, i love seeing mario in these super wacky antics in here and honestly this came in handy while we were at the convention because if i found myself waiting around i just started reading this so yeah. i had a book on hand and he actually did i went off and I was being nice and I took all of our electrical devices while we were waiting for the cosplay contest to start. And I took them off to, the, to find an outlet and sat there for about 30 minutes while they charged. And while I came back, he was holding our seats for us and he was sitting there reading the manga. Hey, okay. putting that time to good use. Yes, I should have found me a book to read while I was charging our devices. <laughs> Well, it is a shame you didn't have this book already. I know, we got this the second day. And this is really cool. We got to talk to the artist who, who wrote this. He has, what was it, two or three other different series. But those right. three different series tie in together. But his big thing was you didn't have to read one book to understand the other one. Which I like that. Yes. And so, and out of one of those series came this goat song that he's got going on here. The Ballad of the Goats and a... And, he explains it a whole lot better than I do, but just briefly, there was a, a feast and they ate a bunch of goats and they sang a different song um, for, for every, each, single, every goat. single goat. And or I think what, there was 60? 60 delicious goats. Yeah, so I cannot wait to read this. And like I said, he tells the story a whole lot better than we do. That was just a very quick version of it. But um, he even actually has an actual feast. Him and his friends get together and they have a goat feast and they have mug contests and everything, so. The mug contest sounded a lot of fun. That does sound like The thing fun. that really caught my ear though, he said something about a uh, goat, what was it, goat butter fudge? Yeah. Or something, like, I was like. And yeah, they said people will bring goat cheese, goat meat, goat fudge. I mean, like all, like, all kinds of things out of goat stuff. So it's like, oh, yes well, please, because I, mean, I love goat cheese. Wonderful, yeah. My favorite cheese of all time is goat cheese gouda. So, yeah. Well, she always finds plushies at conventions. You know what? She also always finds Lego Legos. minifigs. Yep. I could drop so much money on Lego minifigs. I actually did start off with just five the first time. But there were two different Lego booths and they had different Legos in them. So anyway, what I picked up was a very fancy Loki. He has a nice little shiny crown there and a scepter with a nice little, little stone in there. Then I got a wonderful little WandaVision to go with my WandaVision collection. Then I picked up, because I love collecting 
the horror line. So I love getting all the different horror villains, and so I did not have a Leatherface, and I was actually really impressed with his chainsaw. It was pretty cool. Yeah, that's a nice. Pretty good chainsaw. So I also, because I, the other thing I collect are the different Nintendo fig or video game figures. And so I got a Waluigi to go with our Wario. <laughs> it's a terrible Waluigi. <laughs> Just wait until my shift's over and I'll give him the Wario. Another horror figure for you. I got this one more for you. Uh -huh. Sackhead Jason. But unfortunately, there's nothing in there. Oh. <laughs> Just a sackhead. <laughs> Picked up a really fun, like, clear-ish blue Godzilla. He's, he's using the atomic <laughs> right there. He's the whole thing. He's all atomic. One of these years, I'm going to get a big one, I think. Because I think it would be fun because I am going to make a Lego village. So I think it would be fun to have a big Lego Godzilla like somewhere Terrorizing them all? It wouldn't really terrorize all Terrorizing them, your poor Lego minifigs? It would be somewhere in there. I got this one to torment someone else. Nice. I picked me up a carnage. I'll never let you live it down either. I know. That's okay, though. And look, his, his tentacles move. Isn't that great? Isn't that exciting? <laughs> I also picked up a cute little Sam from Trick or Treat. An one amazing of, anthology. I was say, one of the best movie. Uh, Halloween movies out there. And he comes with this cute little sucker and everything. Favorite movie of all time and favorite Halloween movie is Hocus Pocus. And we got the Sanderson sisters. Now this, I don't know if it's new to the system this year, but I have never seen these before. So it's pretty great. The only bad thing is, is they didn't really do such a great job with um, Bette Midler's character because her hair was more of a bun on top, not just a bunch of curly hair, but whatever. You know, they did a great job with everybody else. And I love the fact that they even gave her her little vacuum cleaner. How awesome is that? I was going to pick up another Lego figure until I saw this one and I was like, no, I have to this have this one. Insane. This one is crazy insane. And I don't know. It's Mermaid Batman. Under the sea of justice. I mean, doesn't everybody need a Mermaid Batman? I love the fact that he's got a little seashell Little seashell bra going uh, on there yeah. and the utility he, belt. It's he, still there. So, I mean, it is 100% supposed to be Mermaid Batman. It is not just someone stuck Batman's top on a mermaid. I mean, it <laughs> is Mermaid Batman. <laughs> you know, he's got a suit for every other eventuality, so why not a mermaid well, outfit? Thing, look, Makes sense. Look how happy he is. I mean, he's not ashamed. Look at that <laughs> grin. I mean, come on. The last day we were there, I wasn't going to get any more Lego figures, but the guy had put out a whole new set. And I, I know it sounds like I collect everything in the Lego because I'm like, I collect these, I collect this. But I did start collecting and I try to find the Christmas ones because it's just so funny because it's just normal Lego figures done up Christmas way somehow. I had to get Gambit and Rogue in the Lego figs at Christmas time. Come on, it's us. Look, it's us. It's us. The Lego figures. Nice. And look, he's got a card and his staff. <laughs> How great is that? I also got a really fun Spider-Man. He's got a little beard so you can't see him. It's good can't disguise. Tell who he is. It's good a disguise, great disguise, Spidey. Even though on his suit he has a spider and on his head he has a spider. But, Bad you know, disguise, Spidey. Whatever. You messed it up. Whatever. Oh. And then I also got another Venom or Carnage. A little Christmas carnage. So, how fun is that? Uh, I don't know if I want what's in this bag. That's probably a head in that bag. Meh. I got uh, Lady Loki Christmas time. And it's like uh, an ugly sweater or something, almost. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's kind of weird, but I love it. It's cute. I don't care. <laughs> So something kind of fun, a very, very sweet gift from Toys Art. This was specifically for you because he even asked if you like dragons. What goes, a silly Do you question. like dragons? I'm like, oh, silly man. It's even on my avatar. Thank you. Yeah. That is so cool. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> but this is a really, really great sketch. Oh, I sketch. know. It's amazing. But uh, all the detail in the teeth, but the way that the skull looks, very very cool very so, awesome and we had a really really fun interview with him. <laughs> we we tried we definitely <laughs> tried yeah but uh very very awesome of you to give us that so thank yes, you so thank you much. Very much 
so here we go. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, we do want to thank everyone for coming out to VisionCon. Okay. <laughs> this is Toyn's art, spelled with it. This is Sasha Kai <laughs> Photography, over in the vendor area. What is this? It's a cute little monster. He just spoke to me. It was just adorable. There was this booth that just had a bunch of different um, clay creations. And there were some normal looking ones like Grogu. And there was some, uh, I think there was some Sesame Street characters. And there were some other Star Wars characters. There were some Ewoks, Wicket. But then they just had like made up characters. And there was just something so cute about this little guy. I mean, first of all, nothing is symmetrical on them. He's got one big eye, one little eye, one big tooth, one little tooth. His horns aren't the same size, but I just love he's got like a little bow on. So he's, <laughs> it's all dressed up. He does have a lot of personality to him. That's pretty adorable. Stuff like this is, uh, again, just like fun, unique, yeah. collectible things. Because as great as like the Lego minifigs are, yeah, you can probably find those anywhere. But this, this is something so unique, such a fun creation it's to bring unique, home. It's unique, it's small. There's, for being how small it is, there's a ton of detail in here. I mean, it really does look like he's covered in fur. And the other nice thing is, is because it's so small, it's not something that, you know, can just sit on a shelf or your desk and not take up a whole lot of space. Now, one of the things that we had to pick up were the official Vision Con shirts. Had to go for the official merch of Vision Con 2022. So, some nice shirts. Oh, it even says right here, since 1990. And I know that there's a few people that watch these that weren't even born then. And you guys hurt my feelings because you make me feel old. Yeah. So, let's move on. <laughs> Look at this amazing comic book style cover. This was actually the book that was the program it was. for the whole show. So, and the front of that does show off a really good, like, how eclectic Vision Con is, because you've got a bunch of different genres going on there. Oh, well, not only that, but all of the characters are actually characters done by the voice actor guests they that are. were on yes. hand. Uh, the only one that we did not catch because it was Friday night and we were still at work yeah, was Lori who does the voice of Raphael from TMNT to The Secret of the Ooze. Which would have been cool to catch. Yeah, it would have been. But we do have the Q&As of everybody else, so please be sure to check those out. But inside, uh, of course, the table of contents, they give you a little bit of information about Vision Con itself. Uh, obviously, they have all of their sponsors in there, so you have all of your links in one place to be able to follow up on everything that you saw at the show. Information on the media guests. They had some really, really fun voice actors this year. People that have tons and tons of stuff under their IMDb. The picture of George Lowe always cracks me up. That one just, that's just the face. <laughs> of course, there's a map showing off where to find everything in the main programming and the vendor area. Plus, it also gives you an idea of where the tabletop gaming and the regular dungeon is for everything. And very handy, which is why ours is not in the best of shape now. We kept referring <laughs> to the schedule to make sure that we were hitting up all those Q&As. Yes. I really do enjoy whenever programs come with stuff like this. Yeah. This and the map, so you, you know where to go and when to be there. Mm -hmm. Maybe one of the gifts that keep on giving from VisionCon were our media passes. So we filled out the required information so that we could be media guests so that we can cover it and show you guys just how much fun VisionCon is. And not just VisionCon, but guys, this is a prime example of why you need to support your local conventions. Go there, you know, give them the support that they need to keep these going on for uh, you know, decades, literally, <laughs> literally decades. But they can't do it without you there supporting them. And who doesn't love badges? We don't need no stinky. Well, actually, we did. We need did need stinking badges, badges so, so we uh, could get in. Fair enough. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh well, I, I pitted my badge to my jacket so that everyone could see. Uh, you know, you have a carrying case for those. I mean, here, take my. I've got an extra one. No, I, I want to display it out in the open. One of the tables on hand was information about Tremendicon. Tremendicon. I feel like that's how you have to say it. You can't just be like, hey, I'm going to go to Tremendicon this weekend. You're like, no, I'm going to Tremendicon. So this is an upcoming convention. This is a brand new one. This will it be the is. first It'll be year, first right? first year this year. And this convention mostly focuses on how to things, like how to start a YouTube or how to write a book or how to get into voice acting or just pretty much how to to do things and let's face it look at that logo that logo is pretty 
dadgum cool. Uh, yeah, it really is. And it works so well on all the swag that they have from the little, uh, is that like a coaster? Mm -hmm. The stickers, they had these buttons. fun buttons. Uh, I believe the green one glows I in the dark. I think the green one does glow in the dark, yeah. You have some stickers that these things keep reminding me of Pogs whenever I see them. The funny thing is I told them, I said, oh, I love stickers because I love stickers so much, but I'm always afraid of putting them on things because once you stick a sticker on something, you've lost the sticker. And so I told him, I said, I love to put, get magnet sheets and make magnets out of these. Well, apparently he loved that idea. And he gave me a stack of them and he goes, I want you to make a ton of magnets and stick them wherever you can, <laughs> anywhere and everywhere. So that's why I have a whole bunch of stickers. We also got a little drawstring bag, almost kind of like a little dice bag. Yeah, a little dice bag. And it had just some fun stickers in there. So, you know, they're appealing to all kinds of nerdom and fandom. Speaking of upcoming events, you did get a button. I got me a button for Dragon Fest because I love Ren Fairs first and foremost, you all know this, but it's local, so that makes it even better. It's an amazing show. It's also an amazing cause that it goes for. It goes for Infinity Academy. And it's just a lot of fun. And it is growing by leaps and bounds. I think it's yes. like five or six years old. I can't remember. And they have jousting and jousting is fun. I almost forgot one last thing from the Tremendicon table. They had little gift bag. So, yeah. which which one do you want, pink or blue? Mm, blue. It's my favorite color. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, I got a little uh, Pac-Man arcade, and this is the one with the little, I can't remember if they're mints or little gum. And more stickers. All the stickers, as she was saying, they make yeah, great magnets. Yeah, they so. do. So, I got a little bag and some dice oh, to go nice. in the bag. So that's Perfect. awesome. Yeah. Perfect. Some fun stuff. The lady got something very ladylike. I did. I got me some earrings and I love gummy bears. Gummy anything is like my favorite candy of all time. So at the last convention we went to, I got some gummy worm earrings. And so now I have some gummy bear earrings. So what would be the next gummy earring to go for? I don't know. Like the gummy cherries or something maybe? And so that I can hear you coming. A oh, little bell. This is another one of those weird eclectic that he's like, why did you buy that? I'm like, I don't know. I it asked was, that a lot of the stuff she buys. It was just cute and it spoke to me. There was just something about this rooster. It was just like, it was just cute. Yeah, he's speaking, he's speaking in bell. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Da -na 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 -na. This was something we didn't know existed. Yeah, you totally but, surprised me. Yeah, I know. We, he was actually doing an interview, and I was um, wandering, and they just happened to have the X Jet, and I was like, "Oh, that's so cool!" And then I noticed it was the only one, so I was like, "Well, I can't hang it back up. Somebody else is gonna snatch it." <laughs> so I did. I snatched her up. Fantastic. <laughs> 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 Whoops. <laughs> Look how cool is that? I mean, we love everything to do with the X-Men, yes. especially the 90s cartoon, one of our yes. favorite things of all time. And so, I do love to collect Hot Wheels toy yeah, cars. Yeah, and, so. and you have a few other planes, I do. I, think, I have so some other planes, great. some helicopters, but I also like to get like the you know recognizable vehicles. One more pin. I did get another pin. This is a hand, I guess, burned etched pin so it's not really carved but it's a wooden pac-man because pac-man was the theme at our wedding so got me a fun little pin and we got some fun little miniatures we saw these on the last day like, like the last leaving, moment actually. i can't believe we hadn't seen these before there so obviously there was too much stuff to look at <laughs> and we missed them but these are final fantasy characters as put out by coca-cola yep. so they're little mascot figures now, these are actually characters from Final Fantasy X, and I thought that was interesting because I was aware of the cross-promotional thing that Coca-Cola had done with Final Fantasy IX because I remember this fantastic commercial that they had. So 10 characters really surprised me. 
So we, you, and we picked these characters out specifically because not all of them were holding them, but these two characters were holding, this one's holding a Coke bottle and this one's holding a bottle top. So we definitely wanted to make sure it was very obvious that they're the Coke promotions because like I said, not all of them did it. So these are gonna go really, really great with our Pepsi toppers for Nintendo. So there you go. Yuna and Seymour say, drink more Coke. Okay. You got a little card game. I did. I got literally a tiny card game. It is called Are You a Robot? Social Deduction Micro Game. And it's two players, two minutes, two dollars. I'm not sure what the two dollars is for, but it's literally just this little tiny game from Looney Labs. I love Looney Labs. They're the creators of Flux and a couple other games that we've liked to play. But um, it just seems like really just like a lot of fun. I, like I said, I love small board games and I don't think you can get much smaller than this. So this was pretty cool. This is a little preview issue of Zamara. Now, this artist has done some stuff in the past with uh, kind of a 1920s yeah. silent era cartoon called Silent Sillies. But when I saw this, I mean, I was struck with uh, feelings of like Don Bluth art and yeah, everything. Yeah, very like, um, very Dragon Slayer-esque to me. It looks very, that's what it makes me think of. So we started with this and we also got a little loot bag with a bunch of little buttons yeah, and stickers inside. Yeah, some fun buttons and stickers of each one of the characters because I mean, they're, they're all just really cool looking characters. And let's face it, we all know that I love people that have different color skin and hair. I just, I don't know, there's something about people that's like blue skin or green skin or blue, green, purple hair. So very much looking forward to yes. seeing more of this. This will be a lot of fun. And speaking of his silent sillies, Miranda Mermaid. And this is a silent comic. There's no words inside. And he was telling us that somebody was having fun with their little toddler. They, the toddler created a story based on the pictures and told their mom about the, about the story. So I thought that's kind of neat. So that was great. And I mean, hey, any of you out there that are fans of Cuphead, you already like this art style. <laughs> Not quite the standard minifig that you go for. No, but this was from, there was a, an artist who loves to do D&D. &D, and so he started 3D printing D, D pieces to make to enhance his game which a lot of people have done but i just really liked his stuff because it's very detailed it's very um has some good weathering to it it doesn't look like a 3d print which is that you know i really do I, I like that but there was just something about this figure that i really really liked it's just like this like wanderer person but there's like little little birds on, on the horns and on the feathers and everything. And there's just so much detail in this. And so the, the detail in the coloring alone yes. is amazing. Yeah. And he hand paints them. So it's, it's pretty awesome. I'm very, very much liked this guy's booth and I could have spent a long time there, but he made some really neat stuff. He had some buildings that were like, we thought they were like stone or plastic, but no, they were made out of foam. And so he's like throwing them around and everything. So it was, it was really cool. Talk about for a second, his little army. Oh my gosh. He had an army, which I kind of regret not going back and getting like one or two of them, but he had an army of penguins and they had like random armor pieces that they found, or they, some of them even had just like moss glue, like stuck to them. So it was just kind of funny. They were vicious penguins. Yeah, with they their spears. They weren't cutesy little penguins either. They weren't, they weren't a cute little penguin thinking, oh, look, I'm a dragon. No, these things were like heads on spike penguins. <laughs> well, speaking of weapons. I got myself a lightsaber, so. Yeah, oh, see, this is why she's not allowed to have a real <laughs> lightsaber. But this was a really cute, this was from a booth. Um, that had a bunch of other handmade items, but this is something that was super cute, super easy to do. It's just um, a crocheted slip cover here, basically, that they glued some buttons on to make it look like a lightsaber put over a pool noodle. But what an ingenious idea, because these were only like five bucks. And then they had a double-ended one like Darth Maul, and that one was 10 bucks. This is a nice, cheap, great souvenir because it's nerdy, so it represents the nerd of the, con of the convention. But then, you know, like I said, it's cheap, it's five bucks. This is an easy gift to get your kids. It satisfies them. You're, they're not gonna hurt themselves or anyone else if you get, you know, if they get into a lightsaber fight or whatever, you know, so. What was the little boy doing that you saw with oh this? Oh my gosh, there was a little boy that was walking out one, one, one of the nights and he had this 
and he takes it and he, you know, I'll do this right here, but he goes, zoom, like this as he was walking past me. So it like came up and he's like, zoom, zoom, zoom. And then he goes, zoom, you know, like when it like sucks totally it back in. Into it. So awesome. So cool. So fun. So yeah, look for stuff like this at convention guys, because these are great souvenirs that will let you remember it very well. Well, on the topic of Star Wars, I got a nice little gift bundle. See, I was actually arrested was. there uh, by some mysterious person. But hmm. it was a, quite a great show, if you know what I mean. But uh, clearly they had the wrong guy, so they did let me go. And as a way of saying, you know, we're sorry, they gave me a popcorn bucket, big old cup. So next time I go to the theater, I can, <laughs> I can just bring this stuff and be like, oh, yeah, you know, fill it up. I, I brought my own things. <laughs> but no, it's it's cool stuff. I like this. <laughs> it, was, it was just fun. And I'm glad I got out. I'm glad that you waited for I me to wait didn't run you. off I did wait with for someone you. else. That was yeah. sweet. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much. Did you you, learn were, your lesson? you were gracious hosts. Did you think about what you way, did? I, I did. I, I thought long and hard. And just to make sure it doesn't happen again, I'm done. <laughs> During the closing ceremonies, there were uh, some raffles going on. Sure. And we actually won something. Check this out. A sealed Gears 5 little loot crate here. So the question is, are we going to tear into this or should this... I don't know. We'll just have on. to see. Maybe do a. We'll have to see. Do a giveaway or something. Yeah, we'll see. Or uh, maybe just reach out to someone that we know is a Gears fan. Okay, so one of the best things for last are some amazing art prints. This was from an airbrush artist who he had some really, really cool stuff on display. He was very hard to stop purchasing from, which I'm sure he would not want us to stop. <laughs> but I had to like, okay, we have to cap it because I mean. Oh my gosh. Well, one of the fun things that he was doing were these flip pictures like this. So you have Alien versus Predator. And you'll have to let us know, what do you guys think? Predator on top or Alien on top? And he signed each one of them for us. One I couldn't resist going for was Ash from Evil Dead. Come on. And he loved pointing out that the trees have a bit of a uh, feminine shape to them. So if you know what's going on in that forest. Not nice things. Another flip picture. You've got Batman or should the Joker be Joker top side? Yeah. <laughs> Detail on these. They're so cool. The nice thing about these is you can hang them for a while like this and then, you know, flip it Look, over. I'm bored. Yeah, Look, so I got a new painting. Yeah. Another Jason one he Voorhees. could not resist. Voorhees, a jolly good fellow. Actually, this was one that was really drawn. Actually, yeah, I was the one too. that I was really attracted so, uh, to this which one. Which is funny because uh, the lady here, she's more of a Freddy gal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What did you say this one looks more like? Like a prom photo oh, yeah. or something? <laughs> it's like his high school. Yeah, it looks like the high school Like photo. his senior picture or something. <laughs> it's like, Mom, I got my pictures back today. They look great. Oh. So, yeah. Who's topside? Spider-Man. Venom, which way are you guys gonna go? But another great duology picture, you know, these uh, with like the Alien versus Predator, Batman and Joker, Spider-Man, Venom, I mean, having the, the, the duo. Well, and I just love this, part of it is I love the splatters on them, you know? Like a lot of them will do, you know, the different kind of just like splatterings of, of paint and everything. It's just, I don't know, I just like it. Now, the interesting thing is, for all of the stuff that he was doing that had that very realistic and gritty tone to it, I had to go with this one because, first of all, I like the characters enough as is, but the more cartoony nature of Jessica Rabbit and Roger Rabbit, mm -hmm. but the fact that the quality does not dip at all, even though these are much more simplified characters compared to all of his other pieces, the colors really pop. He really brings these to life, even though it's such a different scale to go off of. The really cool thing though, is he offered to give us some prints to give to you guys. So we have a few prints that we're gonna have to yeah. do a little bit of a giveaway so for. Look for that video and we might do a fun giveaway video. Yeah, stay tuned. I think that you guys are gonna like those too. It, it's going to be very, very hard because everyone that he was pulling out, he's like, okay, give this one. I was like, oh, but I like that one. Oh, but I like that one. <laughs> 
Wow. Okay, so that was a lot of pickups. <laughs> Fortunately, a lot of smaller stuff, so we may yeah. actually have some room for all of this stuff. Uh, but I would love to hear some comments from any of you guys, any of the Lego fans, plushie fans, comic fans, art print fans, Star Wars fans, any of you guys, please let us know any of the stuff that you thought, uh, anything that comes to mind and check out those links in the description. A lot of great artists. Again, I'm going to try to put everyone that I can in there. If I missed out on someone and you see this video, please let us know in the comment down below the best way to find you guys, which social medias work best for you. So everyone can come check out more of your awesome creations. And more importantly, the eclectic mix of finds here once more again guys support your local conventions yes. there's a good reason to keep these things going because there's so many great unique collectible pieces a lot of fantastic artists and this is the best way for mm -hmm. them to get out there and really show off their stuff so many amazing things here that you would miss out on otherwise unless you go to those conventions yeah. i would say the majority of our purchases were handmade by someone there absolutely i mean as, yeah. with aside from like the legos you know and and like the jet pretty much everything else was handmade by somebody yeah that's one of the most fun things yeah. we have about They're going to conventions handmade and unique so yeah leave those comments down below give the video a like if you happen to like it and don't forget to like us on facebook twitter and instagram go over to t public hit us up on the retro refresh with your lightsabers <laughs> And if we like it, nerdlings. We nerd it with the force. Is this a thing now? Are we doing this now? Hey, check it out. It's like every Star Wars movie ever. <laughs> ah! Everyone loses a hand. It's okay. Because you got two. Right? <laughs> oh. Now we both lost hands and hands. <sighs> and I was trying to take it away from you so you wouldn't hurt yourself. By nerdlings. By nerdlings. Ow! You little thing stabbed me. Okay, so so ready? Oh, I almost forgot. One last thing from the. I lost my kitty. <laughs> it is called "Are You a Robot?" A social deduction micro game, and it's two players, two minutes, two dollars. I'm not sure what the two dollars is for. I like all the. Stop. I want to go play with my kids. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. That's it.